Hey and welcome to this tutorial. A lot has changed since my initial video on this topic and Autodesk have now fully implemented the retopology tools into Maya 2020. And these tools can now be found on the modeling shelf and in the mesh menu. Right, so you've made a crazy cool model out of a bunch of shapes which you've combined with the Boolean tool. And this is mine. Okay, um, so this isn't a crazy cool model, but just pretend it is. I'm sure everything you have is much better. But you have the shape how you want it, but the topology is awful. As I just mentioned before, Autodesk has just implemented the retopology toolkit right into the UI, so getting this mesh to a usable state is really as easy as two clicks. Just go ahead and select your mesh. The first thing we're going to want to do is remesh this. And it's probably best to do this on a duplicate. That way we always have something to go back to. Now to remesh this, hold shift, right mouse button, and go down to remesh. Go ahead and have a play with the other settings. But the thing we really want to focus on is the max edge length, which determines the longest possible edge on this new mesh. By default, this is set to the average edge length from the original model. You're going to want to play around with this um, to find the sweet spot where the topology feels well distributed and equal across the entire mesh. This can be a little tricky, but it's definitely worth it to help make our geometry have a consistent level of detail. Cool, so once it's remeshed, select your model again, and we're just going to go ahead and make another duplicate. Right, so next to retopologize this, hold shift and the right mouse button, and then go down to retopologize. Okay, for this tool, our main focus is going to be the target face count. We want to get this as low as possible without things falling apart. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave mine at 1000. Pre-processing wise, um, you might just need to toggle on preserve hard edges. And what this does is, well, it preserves the hard edges. You can see how we now have our cube back as it was getting a little soft before. Setting the face uniformity to 1 will get our quads more equal, which is going to be better for us. We do have a slight problem though. You can see here that we're not keeping this edge consistent through all the processes. This straight edge here has been lost. But that's not an issue. Something to note is that both remesh and retopologize tools respect hard edges. So by putting in some temporary hard edges, we can force these tools to keep that line intact. And I'll just show you the difference going back to the original mesh. In edge mode, if I just select this edge running through the middle like so, Hold shift and the right mouse button, go to soften slash harden edges, harden edges. Cool, and then just create a duplicate. Just quickly remesh. Just sort of guessing the settings we had before. And then finally, retopologize. In the end, you'll see that we get a much better result with the center line being preserved. Note, this isn't a perfect magic modeling technique, but it is another tool which can help to speed up your workflow as it might get you 75% of the way to a finished clean mesh. And as you can see, there are definitely some areas which could be better, but compared to manually drawing out quads, this is so much faster. And to be honest, gets us really close to a decent finishing point which only requires a little bit of cleanup here and there. If you would like to see the scene files and have a play around with the tools yourself, be sure to check out my Patreon where you'll find a whole bunch of digital downloads, including for this video. Although I'm going to be going over the platforms I'm on in much more depth in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.